let's start kind of beginning. So when did you get interested in type? Um, when did you decide you wanted to design your own? My undergrad at Emily Carr University, my first foray into type design actually wasn't um, uh, a typeface built on letters, so to speak. Uh, it was an interpretation of a Kurt Schwitter's uh, uh, project, Ursinet, uh, through graphic forms. And then from that, I got really interested in uh, type design and applied to type and media in The Hague and was fortunate to be accepted in 2008 and spent the year in The Hague uh, learning how to draw letters properly. That's a pretty big commitment to you know, kind of head out to the other side of the world to spend a year doing a thing like that. So you'd already kind of decided that this was definitely going to be a thing. Yeah, I knew that I wanted to uh, study more and I knew that I wanted to uh, focus on type. In the latter part of the type of media course, uh, Charlie became my thesis project. Origin of the project was to try to separate uh, the axis of weight and size. When the project finished, Peter Bielak uh, approached me and said, would you like to keep working on this? And uh, that idea turned into a much larger project. Still at the core was this idea of weight and uh, size hierarchy. And when Charlie was finished, the idea for Echo came about, and so it was actually a secondary project. Echo uh, is the, the sans serif. That's right. So Echo became the sans serif component to Charlie, and the decision to name it Echo as opposed to strictly Charlie uh, Sans was to give it a life of its own. The name Echo conveniently came about from the uh, 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 military alphabetic language. Yeah. Uh, and the original name for Charlie was Foxtrot. Charlie beca became the convenient name after uh, uh, we renamed it, carrying on that same system. And then when the Sans Serif came about, the decision to call it Echo fell into place. When the time came to do the marketing and promotional material for the project, uh, I worked closely with uh, a design studio in Vancouver called Post Projects. And so all of the words that were used and the graphic language that was used in the promotional material came from the uh, visual culture and visual language of horse racing. When Peter approached me to keep working on I think it's fair to say I had no, no idea how comprehensive it would become yeah. and in turn I had no concept of the work that would be put in to truly design a typeface to publish and to, um, to, to sell and so that other designers can use. The total process was probably four to five years worth of work, which is not uncommon for uh, type designs. There was a point where Charlie worked, uh, we were all happy with it, and for lack of better words, it was done. And then it was published, and you get to a point where you say, you know what, we've learned so much, we feel like we understand its identity for the first time, now that it's done, maybe we should take a second look at it. Through that process, which ultimately led to um, the introduction of Echo, uh, we rethought some of the core aspects of Charlie and re-released it with the expanded character set and support for Cyrillic and Greek and the addition of Echo as one package. And understanding the, the role that the uh, uh, more open counters play uh, was, a, was a big turning point. And of course the spacing overall as well. Uh, when you take away the, ser the slabs, mm -hmm. you end up with something where it's just spaced so wide because all the spacing that uh, accounted for the positive and negative space of the slab serifs is no longer there, and uh, adjusting it back so that it works in its own right was an interesting uh, play. I think that uh, one of the hardest parts of type design for me is to understand the identity of what you are working on. And uh, for myself, I find that, like Charlie, uh, it comes at the end of the project, and I always wish it came a lot earlier. <laughs> I always wish that uh, that vision you have in your head for a project uh, is identical to what you produce uh, how many months or years later. This started uh, actually as a side project uh, when I was in the trenches of working on and finishing up Charlie and Echo. And it was intended to be a small project over Christmas when I was visiting my in-laws. That was four years ago, 
and uh, uh, it's been expanded to uh, a weight range with a shaded style and a complete character set, uh, uh, at least a relevant character set for a script. What I liked about this was it was a hand-painted sign in a very small town, and you could see the work of a sign painter uh, at play not, uh, because it was the same approach just across all the signs in this very small region and nothing outside of it. Making decisions that might not be conventional, and might not be the most practical even at times, but honor the, the identity and the spirit of that project I think are important to make because that's what makes the project unique too, right? And then mm -hmm. always try the line between how far can you go with that before it starts, starts to be a little ridiculous. Uh, but hopefully we stayed on, stayed on the right uh, side of that line. This uh, was a part of a project uh, called Dutch Alphabets, right. where a number okay. of uh, designers contributed to an alphabet book that was printed in fairly limited quantities. But what felt unique about it was that the positive uh, parts of the shape were completely taken out as were the channels, and mm -hmm. all that was left was the shadow. And uh, I started to say, can you develop this further? So for the sake of the lettering project, uh, Dutch Alphabets, we honored the Mexican bar origin and developed a series of letters for that purpose, and then more recently started to develop it out into a uh, display style with full uh, character set support. I think there was a time when I made a decision to not be a full-time type designer. I had the idea that, uh, you know, I'm gonna do something totally different, and I'm going to uh, launch a series of all-natural cocktail mixes. I like to cook, I like to mix drinks, and I found that there was nothing out there that uh, allowed me to make a drink at the same quality that I was used to getting at a bar. And, uh, of course, the, the short answer to that was just to learn a little bit about how to, how to mix a drink. But through that process of learning, uh, we figured out that we could do a better version of an all-natural cocktail mix to help novice bartenders like ourselves make drinks. And that became a large part of what I do. Uh, it's nice that the packaging and the design of the, the products and the brand all uses Charlie and Echo. Uh, Ollie, that wasn't my decision and I always fight against it. Uh, there's a quality of using your own work, uh, making the decision to use your own work that I, I, I find uncomfortable. But my partner in the project insisted that it worked and uh, it's nice to see that outlet for you know, type design come through and come something completely different but still very much connected to what I do.